Let's start with a simple question. In the UK, where do they make our laws? Simple answer, in our Parliament. Who by I, hear you ask? Our elected representatives. Does that seem democratic? Let's compare with other so-called democracies in Europe and throughout the world. Germany, the Bundestag, elected. Canada, House of Commons, elected. Australia, Senate and House of Commons, elected. So in a democracy, laws are made by our elected representatives. Well, the European Parliament has MEPs who are elected, so the EU is surely democratic as well. Let us explore this hypothesis. Let's focus on the UK Parliament as, you know, that's the one that matters to us Brits. What do they even do there? Answer. Propose, debate, accept, reject and repeal legislation. I mean, that seems quite reasonable. Let's check out the European Parliament. Surely they propose legislation. That doesn't seem right. I guess the European Commission must be elected as well. Let's check. Oh, just the European Parliament then. So the only directly elected body doesn't even get to create our laws. Do they at least get to debate them? Ah, well everything's sorted then. It is of course good to know every person in the EU is represented evenly. That's not even close. That doesn't seem fair at all. Well, unless you're Dutch, and they're fine with the EU. Oh boy. So what we're saying is that not every EU citizen is represented equally in Parliament. And I meant to be okay with that? So what powers do they actually have? Don't get me wrong, those powers are important, but with no ability to initiate, propose or repeal legislation, despite being the only directly elected EU body, they lack the full power associated with such a democratic institution. But as Britain isn't even represented fairly, I shouldn't be that bothered. Let's get serious for a moment. This is indefensible, and it makes me mad and it should make you mad, and it should make every European citizen mad as well. But it doesn't. It's ludicrous. This to me is the single biggest reason why we have got to get out. Many of our laws are from or influenced by the EU. Some will argue over 60%, others will argue around 13%. Either way, the reality is many of our laws are created by people who are neither representative or probably even known to us. Most seriously, they're not even elected by us. This is not democracy, and it goes against the principles a modern Europe supposedly prides itself on. How could any self-respecting socialist be okay with this lack of accountability in the EU? I remain very critical of its shortcomings, from its lack of democratic accountability. Good. Britain needs to stay in the EU. No luck there then. Let's go to the other end. Conservatives. They must hate this centralised overseas government, taking away their powers. And the Cabinet agreed that the government's position will be to recommend that Britain remains in a reformed European Union. Ah, but they talk about a reformed EU. I must be ignorant and closed-minded to think that we can't reform the EU by staying in it. In fact, just over a month ago, the President of the Commission, Mr Juncker, said we are interfering in too many domains of their, that is our, private lives, and too many domains where the member states are better placed to take action and pass legislation. So obviously there is a clear will to change. Also, another EU commissioner, Jacques Santerre, said something similar in a speech in London, saying that it, that is the commission, should do less and do it better. In fact, it was their motto. He made this speech in May. 1995. That's 21 years ago. 
If the EU was serious about such reform, why would Jean-Claude Juncker need to say the same thing two decades later? The EU has no hunger for change, and the history shows this. To misquote George Santayana, those who choose to ignore the past are condemned to repeat it. The European Union does not fairly represent us. It's not even close, and it has no desire or even a reason to change this. How can this be justified? Those who argue for Remain and Reformation seem to neglect the evidence showing that the EU will not reform if we remain, and that worries me. I do not know of any reason, not one, on why I should be happy with unknown Europeans making decisions on my way of life with the knowledge that they are accountable to no one but themselves. I do not like it. Not one bit. We've been chugging along on the EU locomotive for 40 years, but I'm afraid the age of steam has long since passed. The last station is coming up, and we need to get off while we still have the chance. <laughs>